Hi, I'm John Howard. I'm a co-owner of Kinetic Performance Dog Food, and we're out here this week at the Muscatatuck Urban Warfare Training Center. Uh, we're here for the Military Working Dog Symposium. This has been uh, an incredible week. We're out here with the Army and their 31 kilo program. So this is all the working uh, dogs in the military, in the Army. It's just really an honor to be here with all these patriots and folks from the Army and, and leadership from the Army. Everybody knows dog food. You talk about the meats and the you know the proteins and the fats and things that are in there. But one of the most important components of of nutrition are really the micro ingredients, the vitamins, the minerals. The the uh, in, in in the case of Alltech, who's one of our big partners, uh, they do a lot of work with yeast and and various things that help with digestion. So uh, this week we have Cami Grandine and Dr. Rebecca Dulles out here from Alltech. Uh, they've been tremendously supportive of our efforts to, you know, just help spread the word on the importance of the micronutrients in these canine diets to, you know, again, get back and make these working canines uh, that much more fit and that much more capable uh, to get done what they need to get done. So my name is Cami Grandine and I'm the sales manager for Alltech's companion animal business in the U.S. As a company, Alltech is really pretty diverse. Um, we are a global company. We have uh, products and ingredients for all species of animals, whether that's dairy, poultry, uh, swine, aquaculture, also a crop science division, life science division, and the really fun part of Alltech is we have a brewery and distillery division, which uh, we all enjoy at the end of the day. <laughs> My name is Rebecca Dallas. I am a research scientist for Alltech, which is a animal feed ingredient company. For me, the hardest part of being in science is trying to come up with new ideas. So sometimes you need to step outside of the lab um, to generate that new idea. It's how do you identify what the pain point is? And sometimes talking to other people outside of what you typically do on a day-to-day -day basis can actually generate that idea and help move you know, where science needs to go in the right direction. Yeah, so, so this week has been such a cool opportunity um, for me to come see some of these military working dogs. Just getting an understanding of the jobs that they do, the stresses that they are under, how they're being asked to perform, and the focus and the intensity that, that these animals have, and just how important, from my perspective, that nutrition plays a role in that. I mean, these dogs are have a lot of demands on them. Um, it's really been eye-opening to me to understand everything that goes into the process of being a military working dog. I've noticed that these dogs are essentially elite athletes um, and you need to have the best bang for your buck when we're talking about nutrition. You don't want these dogs eating an excessive amount of kibble and then trying to have them perform their best. And also these working dogs they give so much to keep our country safe, our soldiers safe, um, and at the end of the day, each, in, each individual in this country safe. So I feel like it's our job to ensure that these dogs are fed appropriately. And if there's something that's missing in their diet that needs to be fulfilled, um, I'm hoping we can step in there and, and help them out. Nutrition to these dogs is incredibly important. One, you're putting these, these animals under a tremendous amount of stress. So when you think about the dogs that are here on the grounds, uh, some of them have traveled from across the globe. We've got teams here from Germany, we've got teams from Europe, uh, teams from Australia. When you start layering on the amount of stress that these dogs are under, really what you have in that nutritional profile and that food becomes paramount. It has to be a clean diet. It has to be easily digested and readily absorbed. And so working with the team from Alltech, we were able to achieve what we feel is one of the best profiles in the marketplace. And so you don't have to feed the dogs nearly as much. Uh, but the other thing you don't want to have to do is pile a bunch of food into these dogs and then have them go out and spend, like you're seeing some of these dogs, spending uh, several hours running different lanes. So that stress of getting in and out of the car, they're hearing gunfire, they might hear an explosion, there might be uh, smoke uh, that's being uh, integrated into, the, into a bu building to simulate maybe a fire. So you see these dogs dealing with a number of different stress factors. And so nutrition really becomes paramount.